These are refugees from South Sudan. They are sheltered here at Palabek Refugee Settlement in the Acholi district of Lamu in northern Uganda. They are lining up to partake of the financial project by the United Nations International Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF. It was rolled out in June in partnership with the government of Uganda under the Development Response to Displacement Impacts Project, Dr. Deep. If you would remember where we started, we spoke about interventions in protection and when we started hearing unprovoked, I think, um, interventions that, you know, gender-based violence is reducing. It's exactly one of the key interventions that we've been having. We've got interventions in education, interventions in skilling. As the money is distributed, beneficiaries made up of refugees and host communities are all appreciative. A balokonsi. A refugee from South Sudan is one of them. This man is head of me. I buy in the news business. This sewing is something. The cash assistance project has changed lives within six months of implementation. Members of the Parliamentary Forum on Social Protection are impressed. From what we have heard, this very little money that they were getting helped them, first of all, to take their children to school, buy for them some uniforms and some scholastic materials. And besides what we had, we were able even to buy domestic animals like goats and pigs, and in a way it has empowered them. The question of sustainability was catered for in the project design. It's going to end in the two month that is remaining and of after that just like i asked the question after that what next so the community is looking at can we have something that is sustainable out of the money they were receiving 30 percent of that money was being saved and uh, the reason for saving that money was uh, to ensure that they give them a seed capital and i believe in these six months, they have saved some good amount of money. And of course, we had the testimonies from the women that that uh, money is going to help them to engage in some small, small businesses. Such success is what Minister for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Engineer Hilary Onek, wants to see consolidated. If one chooses health and their country gives them support to help, have then that money they invested in health to improve the services and the life of the refugees. His concern is seeing such projects directly impact on the intended beneficiaries. We want to ensure that this NGO coming to implement the program invests at least 90 or 95 percent in the refugee program and they don't invest too much on themselves for their comfort. The Empower You Cash Plus project was launched in June 2023 during the World Refugee Day celebrations in Lamour District. Henry Okrut, UBC.